Morning guys, back on it this morning and uh, yeah the weather forecast has changed actually the last minute so luckily enough we can get out this morning it's uh, it's a cracker yeah we've got a we've got a nice day so what we're gonna have a, a do at is these uh, woodpeckers I managed to uh, get the feeders topped up yesterday and we're back from Ireland you see we might see our video of the trip to Ireland and this this birch post that we've had in has had time to you know maybe attract a few things in on the first woodpecker video you might have seen that it did actually come down and landed as I was packing up which was <laughs> it was encouraging in a way but it was disappointing another but um, yeah we'll uh, we'll go and have a look get in the hide we'll have a few hours I've also put uh, put a trail cam down last night so we might even have a bit of fox footage which would be brilliant so let's see if we, if we can get out So you can see there all the holes that we uh, that we created have been emptied of the fat balls that we put in. Some of the bark's been took off, so that's obvious signs that the woodpecker's been down. I mean, you can see there where this hole has started to enlarge it. Well, that's brilliant, and it's been in there as well. So that's really encouraging. To these woodpeckers today. Not a bad day actually, so quite promising really. We're back from our little adventure in Northern Ireland. Ooh, that was a wild journey. Flipping heck. Yeah, there's a rum crossing that, going over that Irish Sea and the ferry. Felt like, uh, what was his name, Lieutenant Dan in Forest Gump, you know, we were on Bubba Gump shrimp boat. Flipping out, we're off getting chucks around. But we're back now, back to work tomorrow, so we're making the most of it. We'll see if we can uh, see if we can get some shots of these these pet woodpeckers. Fingers crossed. because uh, we've got some belting light but we've been here an hour and a half but we'll see what happens eh? what a brew stuff usually comes down when I pour a cup of coffee hmm Stay for very long, but yes, that's a start. Wow, the light was absolutely brilliant. The light's coming from, from this angle, so I managed to get the ISO down as well. So hopefully, they'll be short then. Oh, fantastic.
fantastic. We even got the nut hatch with it as well, momentarily, but that's mega. I'm well chuffed with that. That that bit that I said, that more that interesting part with all the you know the knots and the branches coming out. That's that's exactly where he went. So that, that bit that we drilled out, we put the fat balls in. It just worked out absolutely perfect. So it just goes to show, doesn't it? Get that idea in your head, make it happen, and you'll get the shot. Brilliant. That's what it's all about. All that hard work coming to uh, coming to fruition. I'm well chuffed with that. See what we will do while well, there's not a lot happening. We'll head out there and we'll go and pick that trail cam up because the pheasant has gone since last night. So hopefully, we might have a bit of footage of uh, no basil brush. So come on, let's go and get it. See, that's where we've got our our little trail cam set up. What we did, we had the uh, we had a pheasant down here on the ground. What I tend to do is chain it down, really. Um, yeah, have a look. There we go. There's our bit of chain. Yeah, if we don't fasten it down, what happens? The fox will just come along. It'll pick it up and it's gone. But well, at least when you when you fasten it down, it's got to work for it. So hopefully it'll it'll hold the the fox there for a bit, and we can get a bit better footage. So we'll get that camera off and see what's on it. Right, let's have a quick a quick butchers. Cord in, look away. Right, so it's showing there that we've got, we've had 30 frames on there. So if we go, that's. And there he is. You see him there? Hopefully, we've got some uh, a bit closer up than that. Cracking. We'll have a proper look at them when we get home. But that's good. Thank mm -hmm. you. 